Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can find duplicate values or unique values based on multiple conditions. So in the previous video if you have seen that it was only based on one condition and I just want to extend this what I felt like you know you may also have multiple conditions so I thought of creating a quick another video just so that in case if you have multiple condition you can carry it all right so i'll give you a scenario so for this i'll go to power bi and before that yeah a very quick information which i want to make sure that every single person who is new to my channel should know this about power bi is that this particular sheet which you are looking at is a live google sheet and the link of this live google sheet is present in the description that means you can use this link, come here, search any of my previous videos and since it is a live link, it will have all of my future videos as well. So all my previous video, all my future videos, you will have at one single location which you can search easily, jump to it using the link which is given here in column B. Well that way, if you have a specific learning needs, you can search or you can arrange it accordingly and create your own learning list instead of following a standard one let's say that i'm creating so this is this just to you have the flexibility and something you have in your bookmark so whenever you need anything related to the power bi you can quickly search here all right so with that let me go into the power bi so in the power bi this was the column which i created earlier if you remember that is basically unique or multiple orders so what it has is based on the order id and as you can see it is sort ascending order <clears throat> so if it has one order id that means this is a unique one so you have just one if something is like you have two order ids then it is doing a count and giving you that this is for related to this order id you have two order ids that way you can find what are where you have the unique orders or a just a order where you have just one order or where you have like multiple orders so that i in the last video i've told you that with this you can actually solve multiple use cases like for example finding those orders which have five or more or finding those orders which have three or less product ids and this product ids are differentiated via the different product which customer is choosing right so that way it basically differentiates. so it indicates that for this customer has purchased two different products and it can generate a product analytics based on your needs but whole idea is that we should know what are those unique and uh, and multiple orders or the duplicate orders over here now duplicate is also in this case is a subjective thing because what we are identifying by anything which is greater than one is duplicate right so if this is what your use case or scenario is then you can use it over there as well also there is a different scenario in the use case which is about this is the first one you consider as the uh, as the original and second one as the duplicate and in that different scenario i will probably show you in a different video all right so with that if i let's say need to have a multiple conditions this is the first only condition which i put it is whether the earlier order id is same as so this order id is same as this one or this order id is same as this one then it basically count as two or four like in this case one zero zero six seven eight and you have four times now if i have multiple condition for example i want to see only in those scenarios where multiple orders are from the same category two or more orders or three or more orders within these uh, same order id is from same category so in that case what i can do is i extend this formula by pressing ampersand ampersand and saying earlier category is equal to category right and with this you can add as many as multiple condition by adding ampersand and when i do this change so if i click ok the values will be changed in the end so now you see you have one one earlier here you were having two why because 
see one zero zero nine zero one trip sorry one triple zero nine zero one triple zero nine zero is basically the same order but down there you have one and one why because one order is related to the furniture and one order is related to the office supplies however if you come down over here this product this and this is basically two because both for both the product for both the uh, product which has been purchased by the customer the category is office supplies so if this is what the scenario that you want to achieve then you can use the m percent on the column over here right and you can make it complex another level of complexity is let's say uh, same pro same order id same subcategory same product category and same region that's like uh, that's like one more level of complexity or maybe some same uh, product subcategory so that basically you know uh, give us more and more complexity which you can introduce to your formulas but remember the more is complexity the more work power bi needs to do to give you the output but in this case since it is a calculated column it will not have much impact at the visualization level so that's something i wanted to show you how you can introduce the uh, complexity into your formula uh, by adding more condition with that thank you so much for watching and i will meet you in the next video with some new topic